The Office 2010 Home and Student version of Office includes four programs, Excel, Word, PowerPoint, and OneNote. It's different from the standard and professional versions of Office in that it doesn't include three programs, and those programs are Outlook, Publisher, and Access. The biggest change between Office 2007 and Office 2010 is the Office button, which used to be located in the upper left-hand corner, has been replaced with the File tab. When you click the File tab, you get to something that Microsoft calls the Backstage. And the Backstage is just a place where they've collected all the file management commands. For example, you could turn a PowerPoint presentation into a video file starting on the back page, or you could turn a Word document into a PDF file starting on the back page. All your printing commands are there on the backstage where you can find them easily and your print preview commands are there as well. That will help because in previous versions of Office, these commands for, for file management were scattered all over the program. Now they're in one convenient place where you can find them. There are two major factors to consider when deciding whether the home and student version of Office is for you. One is cost. Obviously the home and student version is cheaper. Everybody wants to save a little money. The other thing to ask yourself is, do I need one of the three programs that aren't available in the Home and Student Edition? Those three programs are Outlook, Access, and Publisher. Publisher is a desktop publishing program. Do you make newsletters? Do you make advertisements or flyers? If you do, maybe you could use Publisher. Access is a database management program. It's a very sophisticated program for managing information. Chances are, if you're a student or you're working at home, you don't need it. Outlook, however, is something you may need, especially if you're a student, and I speak as the parent of college students. If you're a student, you have to manage your time very carefully. Outlook can help you do that with its calendar feature. The advantage of using the Office 2010 Home and Student Edition over the other editions is cost. The Home and Student Edition is significantly cheaper, and if you're a college student that is, or a high school student, that is, if you're someone who has an email address with edu on the end, you can buy the program at a significant discount.